A wet and cold yeah. start to today. This holiday weekend begins for many tomorrow. Not stopping campers, though, from filling up sites all across Minnesota. You know, once you've made those plans, the right. DNR says most state parks are 100% reserved for the weekend. And among them, people who took it up because of the pandemic. Rob Bolson is live in Stillwater. And so, Rob, a little rain never stops a holiday. No, it does not. And, you know, the DNR says uh, that uh, campgrounds in the state parks are typically full on uh, Memorial Weekend. That is not new. What is new, though, are the number of people that they're seeing getting into camping or coming back to it because of the pandemic and more people camping during the week, like the couple you're about to meet uh, up at William O'Brien State Park, who've been there since Monday. When you camp in Minnesota heading into Memorial Day, you got to have an open mind that it's very likely going to rain. Dealing with it. <laughs> Dealing with it. You make lemonade <laughs> out of lemon. Jerry and Petra Hennick, like a lot of campers, just roll with the weather. And like a growing number of campers, would have never even been out here in it. Almost assuredly because... Right, we'd be on a yeah. Rhine cruise. If not for the pandemic. We have other friends that we've traveled with and stuff and uh, we gave up uh, the Mexican even, yeah, we even g gave resorts. up the options even of thinking about doing those kind yeah. of trips just because of the pandemic. It was just yeah. it's it just didn't, wasn't going to happen. So, this one's Georgie, yes. So, this one's Georgie and this is this is Chloe actually. They bought their Airstream that they named Georgie just 2 months ago after isolating at home all of last year and after decades away from camping back when their kids were young and they hauled around a pop-up. And we knew that as um, seniors we weren't going to go that route. Uh, we wanted more comfort. Last summer, in the height of COVID-19, sales of campers and camping supplies took off as other types of vacations were canceled. The DNR tells me even now, coming out of the pandemic, they're still seeing those effects. State campgrounds were always full on the weekends, even before COVID, but last year they saw an increase in weekday reservations. So far this year, I've seen campers already return who were new to it last year. And so far in 2021, reservations at state parks are up now about 5% more than pre-pandemic 2019. Well, and actually on our trip back today, we stopped at another RV park we were driving by over in Taylor's Falls, and they said they're booked through August. Yeah, a lot, a lot of them are, we're hearing. Maybe a bit of a rebound effect, too, as more people want to get out. But again, camping got very strong here during the pandemic. Petra and Jerry say even though we're coming out of it and even though they're fully vaccinated, they're still not quite comfortable as seniors <laughs> traveling out of the country. So they'll take Georgie, their Airstream, around the country for vacations for the time being. That Live in Stillwater, Rob Olson, Fox 9. Like a great idea. Not a bad Something way to go. Yeah, sounds fantastic. Yeah.